Good evening, my name's Susan, welcoming you to my home this evening and we're going to be going through Celtic uh, prayers. So if you'd like the service sheet for that, you'll need to just go along to dedhamandardleyparishes.org.uk and on the home page look for service resources and go down the list until you find Evening Prayers Celtic. So let's come into the presence of the Lord. In the shadow of your wings I will sing your praises, O Lord. The Lord is my light, my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the refuge of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? In the shadow of your wings I will sing your praises, O Lord. One thing I ask of the Lord, and one thing I seek to dwell in the presence of my God, to gaze on your holy place. In the shadow of your wings I will sing your praises, O Lord. I believe I shall see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. O oh, wait for the Lord, have courage and wait, wait for the Lord. In the shadow of your wings I will sing your praises, O Lord. See that ye be at peace among yourselves, my children, and love one another. Follow the example of the wise and good, and God will comfort you and help you, both in this world and in the world which is to come. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. My soul waits for the Lord more than those who watch for the morning, more than those who watch for the morning. Out of the depths I have cried to you, O Lord, hear my voice. With my whole heart I want to praise you. O Lord, hear my voice. If you, Lord, should mark iniquities, who could stand? Who could stand? I will wait for the Lord. My soul waits, and in his word do I hope. Lord, you have always given bread for the coming day, and though I am poor, today I believe. Lord, you have always given strength for the coming day, and though I am weak, today I believe. Lord, you have always given peace for the coming day, and so, though of anxious heart, Today I believe. Lord, you have always kept me safe in trials, and now, tried as I am, today I believe. Lord, you have always marked the road for the coming day, and though it may be hidden, today I believe. Lord, you have always lightened this darkness of mine, and though the night is here, today I believe. Lord, you have always spoken when time was right, and though you be silent now, today I believe. I'm going to read Psalm 111 this evening. Psalm 111. Praise the Lord. I will extol the Lord with all my heart in the council of the upright and in the assembly. Great are the works of the Lord. They are pondered by all who delight in them. Glorious and majestic are his deeds and his righteousness endures forever. He has caused his wonders to be remembered. The Lord is gracious and compassionate. He provides food for those who fear him and he remembers his covenant forever. He has shown his people the power of his works, giving them the land of other nations. The works of his hands are faithful and just, and all his precepts are trustworthy. They are established forever and ever, enacted in faithfulness and uprightness. He provided redemption for his people. 
he ordained his covenant forever. Holy and awesome is his name. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. All who follow his precepts have good understanding. To him belongs eternal praise. So this is a psalm that David wrote for worship. It's actually, we miss a lot of its beauty uh, because it's had to be translated, but it was composed um, alphabetically in the Hebrew alphabet with two sentences to each verse and three apiece to the last two letters. So it would have been a, a beautiful psalm to look at in its original language. But I think it is well worth another read and another pray through. And I've personally loved the ending because this is one of the things that is a real reminder for me that the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom, to have a awesome, wholesome respect for the holiness of God and to really commit yourself to him, to bow the knee to him, to recognise who he is and the relationship that we have been invited to have with him uh, really begins a life that comes into shape, that begins to make sense and begins to have meaning and purpose and joy even in the painful times. And so we want our lives to be lives that are lived in eternal praise for this amazing God that we worship. So let's pray. Father, we want to thank you this evening for the amazing God you are to us. We want to be people who love you with all our heart and give witness to you in the assembly and amongst everybody that we meet day by day. Lord, we want to honour the works of your hand. Lord, when we see the beauty of creation, we see the wonderful world you've put us in. We want to give you eternal praise. Father, you are a God that is all powerful, all loving. Your faithfulness is new every morning. You have provided for us everything that we need. And so we want to thank you this evening. We want to give you the praise and honour that is due your name. For you are King of Kings, Lord of Lords. We lift you up this evening. We bless you and thank you. And ask for your goodness and kindness over us as we go to bed this evening that you will speak to us in dreams and visions, that you will give us that real rest that we need, not just physically this evening, but in our spirits. I pray if anybody is going to bed with concerns on their mind this evening, that when they wake up in the morning, your Holy Spirit will give them a refreshed mind, a mind that is full of the way forward, that you will drop into people's minds and spirits solutions for situations that they could never have thought of, but you, their divine master, can give them tonight. Thank you, Lord. And Lord, may the fear of you, that awesome, wholesome respect for you, be the beginning of bringing wisdom into our hearts and minds and spirits, that as we understand and study your word more and more, we may walk in greater obedience and greater blessing to your word. For I ask it in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. So shall we finish by saying the Lord's Prayer together? Our Father in heaven, 
hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come and your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread and forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us, not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. So thank you for joining us for evening prayers. Good night and God bless you.